Suppose the pushdown automaton is in state Q and processing string AX with stack BY. If it changes to state Q prime and replaces the stack symbol B with another symbol or string gamma, we write Q AX BY derives Q prime X gamma Y and describe the transition as delta of QAB equals Q prime gamma. So let's try to write a delta transition corresponding to these. So remember, when delta QAB equals Q prime gamma, the state changes from Q to Q prime, the first symbol of the string is consumed, and the top symbol of the stack is changed to as the symbol or string gamma. So in Q, AX RY derives Q prime X TRY, the state changes from Q to Q prime. The first symbol of the string was consumed, changing it from AX to X. And the top symbol of the stack changed from R to TR. So this is the delta transition. Delta QAR is Q prime TR. In Q, AX, SY derives Q prime X, Y. The state changed from Q to Q prime. The first symbol of the string was consumed, leaving X. The top symbol, S, of the stack disappeared. While we could view the disappearance of S as a deletion, we can also view it as a replacement by the empty string lambda. And so delta QAS is Q prime lambda. In Q, AX, TY derives Q prime, AX, STR, Y. The state changed from Q to Q prime. The first symbol of the string was not consumed. And the top symbol of the stack changed from T to STR. Now, remember, we ordinarily consume that top symbol. We can avoid consuming the leading symbol of the string if we have a lambda transition. So we could represent this as Q lambda T is Q prime STR. In principle, the first few top symbols might be replaced. For example, we might have the transition delta QAR equals Q prime STR, which would mean that our PVA in state QAXRY will derive a PDA in state Q prime, string X, and stack STRY. However, if we allow lambda transitions, we can break this derivation into several steps. So we could have delta QAR equals Q prime TR. So that's Q AXRY derives Q prime X TRY. And then we could have the lambda transition delta Q lambda T is Q prime ST. And so we derive Q prime X S T R Y. As with finite automaton, where we introduce delta star to indicate where we would eventually end, we can also introduce derivation k, a derivation in k steps, and we'll define the zero derivation, where our state and our stack remain the same, but our string might change. Effectively, we change the input string without changing state or the memory stack. And then we'll define the derivation in k plus 1 steps as the derivation in k steps followed by one more step. And this allows us to define qxy eventually derives p x prime y prime. Remember, our pushdown automaton is going to be like our finite automaton. There should be some set of accepting states. And the obvious definition of acceptance for a pushdown automaton is that a string is accepted if we've completely consumed the input string, leaving the empty string, and 
push down automaton is in some state that's in our accepting states. In other words, we'll start with our push down automaton in the start state with the full string and an empty stack, and we'll eventually produce a push down automaton in one of the accepting state, the empty string, where our stack might have some contents. You can think about this as the scratch work needed to get us to that accepting state. So let's see if we can construct a pushdown automaton. 